Hey my beautiful Pisces peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moons Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your mid-April 2022 tarot reading. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. Starting out with the current energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout mid-April 2022. And if I can shuffle these cards today, guys. Jesus, thank you. All right, what current energies do we got coming in here for Team Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout mid-April 2022. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a look. Don't mind the sloppy shuffling today, everybody. Apparently, I'm just not a professional. Okay, Pisces. All right, first current energy for you is gonna be the 10 of pentacles. Moving forward from that, we do have here the Hierophant. And then lastly, for my Piscean, what do we got? We got here the Fool card. So you could be connecting with a Taurus or potentially an Aries, considering that we have the Hierophant here, followed up with the Fool. Now, the 10 of pentacles, the Hierophant, the Fool card. Let's talk about the 10 of pentacles to the Hierophant card for a second, okay? The Hierophant is typically the card that is, you know, keeping up with what you're obligated to, keeping up with your commitments, right? It's about not going against the status quo. When you have a Ten of Pentacles here, Ten of Pentacles usually represents stability. It's like everything's happening and unfolding exactly the way it should be. It kind of almost represents perfection, even though perfection is not necessarily something that's a real thing. It's like the closest to perfection. So something in your life is running very, very smoothly. It seems to be going super well, but at the same time, I think you want to escape from it because looking at the last card that we have, we have here the Fool card. So even if something is running almost close to perfect, there's still some sort of flaw in there that warrants you wanting to escape from it, that warrants you wanting to kind of separate from whatever's going really good here. So for a few of you Pisceans, you know, maybe you're in a career field where you have a really great amount of money you're making. Maybe you have a great pension, you have great benefits, but it's like the career isn't really fulfilling to me. It doesn't really make me happy. Maybe you're in a relationship where you have a partner who does everything that you would expect of a wonderful partner. They take care of you. They love you unconditionally. They do everything that they can for you. But at the same time, maybe you've just lost your spark with them. So there is this energy of something that's showing up that's really wonderful in your life but at the same time there is this major flaw that's causing a drawback and you being able to fully enjoy it so looking at that full card showing up here I think it's really significant that even if something is as close to everything you've wanted it to be there's still that major drawback that's kind of making you want to go your separate way uh, let's go ahead and have a look here and see what you'll be dealing with throughout the rest of this month what are my Pisceans gonna be dealing with here Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus throughout mid-April 2022. What are my Pisceans gonna be dealing with throughout the second half of the month here? And what do we have? We have here the Empress. Yeah, the Empress is the card of growth, okay? So typically with the Empress card, not only is it a card where you see your value and you see your worth, you feel like you're growing a lot more too. And in a sense, this could be the card of outgrowing something as well. So you might actually be realizing that you're outgrowing your current environment. Moving on to the next card, we do have here the High Priestess, which is the card that tucks, um, that texts about, I was gonna say that, that talks about, um, you know, connecting with your intuition. So your intuition here is pretty much speaking to you. I think your higher self is telling you, hey, you've been getting this gut feeling for a while, Pisces, that your current environment isn't necessarily fulfilling you. And even though you'd like it to, even though you want it to, because it has basically everything there you've wanted for a long time, there is still that one thing that is the deal breaker of your fulfillment that's just not in this environment. So, you know, your higher self over here, your intuition, whatever you want to call it, is basically telling you like, you know you feel this way, and you're gonna have to do something about it, okay? Looking at the next two cards we have, we also have here the Magician, and we have here the Eight of Wands. So based upon what you're dealing with, Magician here to the Eight of Wands, you know, there's this part of you too, Pisces, that says, well, who's to say that I can't create something better? You know, even if this environment is relatively positive and everything I've wanted, it's not literally everything I've wanted if it feels like something's missing. So who's to say there isn't better out there? Who's to say I can't create an even better environment for myself this time around? So as far as what I'm seeing for you guys, something is almost everything you want it to be, but there's just that one thing that's missing. You know, like I said, maybe you have a great job, great pension, really great benefits, but it's just not really a job anymore that's making you happy. It's just not a job anymore that you're passionate about. Maybe what's missing is the passion and that's relatively important sometimes in our career and in our work it could be a deal breaker to many people you know same thing comes with relationships you can have the perfect husband who 
does everything for you that he possibly can, but maybe you lost the passion in that relationship. And that's very significant as well in romantic relationships. So despite the case, whether it's about, you know, a romantic relationship, your career, personal relationships, friendships, anything that you got going on currently in your life, whatever this environment is, everything is almost what you need it to be, but something here is missing for sure. So when I'm taking a look at what it is you're dealing with, it definitely looks to me like in mid-April you're outgrowing this and you're only becoming more and more aware about it. You know, the High Priestess card, that's the card here of tapping into your awareness, tapping into your intuition. Your intuition here is telling you, Pisces, you're becoming only more and more aware and this feeling is becoming more and more apparent to you that this environment just doesn't really serve you right now. You know, something here is a bit of a deal breaker. Something here is missing. So you get in this energy where it's like, okay, well, can I create the future where I have the fulfillment, where I have everything that I want, A hundred, <clears throat> excuse me, 110%. Can I get to that future? Can I create that future? So you're kind of speculating here in the second half of April on if you can create this environment for yourself and if it's really worth leaving the, envir uh, the environment behind that you're currently invested in. All right, let's go ahead and see where things are going. Where are things gonna be going here for Team Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-April 2022. Where are things gonna be going here for Pisces? We do have here the Four of Cups. Moving forward from that, we have here the Ace of Cups. We have here the Ace of Wands. And then lastly, we have here the Queen of Cups. So, Four of Cups here to the Ace of Cups. That's a little tricky because there is a part of this environment that I think is still pretty fulfilling to you. You know, there's something still good about this environment. There's definitely a lot of good things, but it's just not the full package. So you would be leaving behind an environment that you do love because there's things about it that you love and care about, you know? Moving forward from that, we have here the Ace of Wands and we have here the Queen of Cups. I think that it definitely is making you emotional too, thinking about walking away from this environment because there's a lot of positive things that you have and letting go of those positive things could be a bit of a risk, you know? And the thing about the Fool card is that the Fool card usually takes a risk anyways. You know, the Fool here knows they could be making a dumb decision. They know they, they, you know, they know they could be taking a risk to miss out on something that they really care about. So as far as what I'm picking up on here for you, it's a pretty emotion, <clears throat> excuse me, Pisces, Jesus. My throat is like acting up right now. Sorry guys, if I keep cutting off when I'm speaking, <clears throat> I have something in my throat right now. So basically Piscean, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, it's like a very emotional decision for you on whether or not to walk away from this environment, you know? Actually, that could be something of what's going on with my, uh, with my throat here because sometimes when I'm doing tarot readings, I could find it very difficult to communicate, especially if there's throat chakra problems. So chances are for a few of you Pisces, this might even be hard for you to talk about. Um, not even just to other people, but maybe potentially even to yourself. You might be having a difficult time conveying the fact that you're thinking about walking away from an environment that has a lot of significance in your life. And it will impact you and other people too. So it's a big decision and it really conveys a lot of emotions. It stirs up a lot of emotions here, all right? So I think you're kind of looking at this like, I don't know what to do. You know, there's this gut feeling that's telling me I should walk away anyways because it's not everything I've wanted. But then there's this other part of you, there's this more so practical part of you, Pisces, that's saying, well, I have so much though that I am grateful for. It's like, why walk away from that too? So you're kind of at a, um, a loss here, you know? You're stuck between a rock and a hard place here is what I'm seeing. Uh, let's see what the spirit guides have to say, all right? Is there any dire or important messages coming in here from Pisces spirit guides? throughout mid-April 2022. And what do we have? We have here the Knight of Pentacles, we have here the Star, we have here the Two of Wands, and we have here the Page of Swords. Star card is typically that card that represents your dream, right? Everything that you can imagine that you've wanted. You know, Knight of Pentacles says, slowly but surely, you've been making your dreams happen. Slowly but surely, Pisces, you've been making your dreams come true, you know? You definitely have a really good environment around you and you know you've been working very hard on it i think you've been working to uh perfect that environment but at the same time here comes that stuck between a rock and a hard place kind of energy you know we got here the two of wands you know if you can't really tell that this environment is everything that you want there's something about it that's making you unhappy and with the page of swords showing up over here pisces that is your feeling you know this is the feeling of Something's missing. I need something more than what it is I already have. You know, if it's that lack of passion that's missing in your relationships or missing in your career, 
it's a pretty detrimental feeling to have in something such as like a relationship or a career, right? Because people want to love what they're doing, especially when it comes to their work and people want to love and have a passionate connection with the people they're romantically invested into, you know? And like I said, guys, it could be beyond just career or romance. It could be anything else. If this message makes sense to you in any other way, it's a resonating message, but it's really, really hard here. It's like what you need is a deal breaker to keep this environment growing and going, you know? So your guides are trying to say to you here, Pisces, you're not really going to be able to shake this feeling. You know, as much as you'd like to shake this feeling, as much as you'd like your current environment to be everything you already need, this feeling is something that's going to kind of keep on coming up for you until it's actually addressed. All right. So I feel like your guides are trying to say to you, you're going to have to take action here. You're going to have to take and make a decision because if you don't, you're going to keep on having this feeling kind of, you know, pestering you. All right. Moving throughout the next couple of months. Uh, let's go ahead and see the overall outcome. What's going to be the overall outcome here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout the second half of April. And what do we have? We have here the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is the card that signifies walking away. What is it, though, that you will be walking away from? And we have here the Sun. Walking away from your happiness. Now, that's an interesting way to put it because this can go either way. Potentially, you could be walking away from your environment because if, I'm, I'm very certain and sure there's a part of this environment right now that brings in happiness for you. But if that's not the case, you could be walking away from the future you want that has everything that you desire. And maybe that's what's being kind of set up as your happiness or being portrayed as your happiness with the sun card. So I'm actually not sure how to differ between the two. Give me some clarity here on the sun card. And what do we have? We have here the Six of Cups, and we have here the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So, Pisces, I do feel that moving towards the end of the month here for you, you're probably going to end up walking away from this environment. As I clarified it, it makes a lot more sense. It's about leaving something in the past here, Six of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. What you're leaving in the past is something that you've invested a lot of time into. So Pisces, whether you're leaving behind a job here mid-April, a relationship, uh, relationship here, or anything at all in mid-April, you know, you're leaving behind something that you've put a lot of effort into, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, you know? And there's a lot of happy moments that you've experienced with this environment as well, you know? There's a lot of good things that have been involved in this situation. So it's difficult to leave behind. It's an incredibly emotional decision because going back to the Queen of Cups to the Ace of Cups, remember, there are still things about this environment that you do love and that you do care about. So it's definitely not easy. But you feel like that feeling is going to keep on haunting you until you do something about it. You know, that feeling of there's something missing here to make this environment everything that I need it to be. And if I don't explore what that feeling is, I'm going to feel it forever and I'm going to be stuck. I'm going to feel trapped, you know? And I think the last thing you wanted to do, uh, wanted to do, Pisces, was feel any sort of resentment towards the environment you already have because you didn't take a chance on exploring that missing link, that missing feeling that you needed to sort out. I think that you would have felt a lot of regret and resentment towards your current environment if you didn't give yourself the opportunity to explore what this feeling means and what it is you're really searching for. You know, and sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we have to make the difficult decisions to walk away from situations that we love if we know that there's something more fulfilling out there that we need to experience for ourselves and with our own eyes. So it's very tough. I totally see where you guys are coming from. I definitely see the hesitancy too that you guys were feeling for quite some time. I would be hesitant in this situation as well because it's not easy, you know? It's a risk here. It's like I'm risking losing a safety net that I've had, a really great environment that I had. You know, it may not have been everything, but it had a lot that I loved and cared about. And, you know, what if I never get that again? You know, there's a lot of fears and worries here too, but at the same time, if you don't explore this feeling, it's just something that's going to keep on haunting you. So even though you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, I think it all comes down to saying like, you got to explore that feeling. You got to figure it out. All right. All right, Pisces. Well, look. At the end of the day, when you do figure out what this feeling is and what you feel is missing, at least you'll have the clarity to know what it was the entire time. And you know what? You'll figure that out in due time. Take every day right now, one day and one step at a time. You know, figure shit out on your own time. Don't feel any sort of pressure to rush the system or rush the process, right? Just figure out what you need, you know, and give yourself as much time as you need, okay? And even if you're leaving behind an environment 
and people are disappointed, people are upset, you know, just realize that that's a normal reaction from other people, especially if other people are involved in this situation or said environment that care about you. It's a normal reaction for them to be upset too. So right now, what I really want you guys to kind of focus on is you as much as possible. Give yourself as much dedicated time as you need to figure out what the missing link is, what it is that's truly going to make you happy, what you need for yourself. And in the end, it will all make sense for you, okay? In due time, everything will make sense, you know, when you become closer to what's actually going to be fulfilling for you in your life, all right? All right, Piscean, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If this message resonates with you, let me know down in the comments down below. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. But with that being said, Pisces, enjoy the rest of your mid-April. Definitely a bit of a tough situation, but you're going to make it through. Just be patient with yourself. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Much love, Pisces, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.